Welcome to this lightning lecture about Google Play app signing. My name is Rene. I'm a senior content developer at Microsoft working for Xamarin University. You know, the other day I tried to update an application that I have had on the Play Store for like two years. And when I created my release build, I realized that, hmm, in order to create an update, I would have to sign that build using the exact same certificate that I used back in the days. Now, luckily, I still had it, but I quickly want to show you what happens if you no longer have that certificate and what your options are. This lightning lecture assumes that you're familiar with the basic process of submitting an app to the Google Play Store. If you have not submitted an app yet, if all of this is new to you, I recommend that you check out our class about publishing to the Android Google Play Store. You find this on our website at university.xamarin.com. Just go to courses, select Android, scroll a bit down, and there you find Android 220 publishing an Android app. This is a video only course. I think it's about one hour and it covers all the steps necessary to prepare your application and to upload it. And today we want to cover a very special case. Let me show you what happens if you try to update an application that was signed with the wrong key store, with the wrong certificates. Here we are looking at the one and only app that I have uh, live on the Play Store. It's a game that I made long ago. And if I go here to release management and to app releases, I can select to create a new release. I created one previously, so I just have to edit it here. Otherwise, you would have a button that says create a new release. And it allows me to upload an APK here. Now you can either upload the APK here manually or you can do it through Visual Studio. I hope everybody knows that. Meanwhile, it's pretty convenient. If you go into Visual Studio, it doesn't matter if it's on Mac or on Windows, you can right click here and then select archive that will generate the APK. And then you can let Visual Studio communicate with the Play Store directly. You would have to set up some bits to make this work, set up OAuth, but then you don't have to do this manually. However, you always have to do it manually for the very first submission. So that does not change. Anyway, going back here, let's select the APK. And well, I just created one that is, yeah, it's incorrect on purpose because I wanna show you the effect. So here is the APK, I'm gonna select that. Um, we quickly wait for it to upload. And when it's done, we should get an error. And here it is. It tells us the uploaded APK is signed with a different certificate. You must use the same certificate. So that's a problem. If you want to update your app, if you want to provide a new version, you have to sign it using the same certificate. That's why you read these recommendations everywhere saying you should save your key store in a place where you're never gonna lose it. That's exactly the reason here. I made it a habit of saving my key store file together with the repository. So I just upload that to GitHub. Of course, that's a private repository, so nobody can abuse that. And then I have it available. But what if you lost that key store? What if you submitted an app and now a year later you realize, mm, I have to create an update, but I no longer have the key store and the certificates in there. Well, the unfortunate answer is that you're basically out of options. So the only thing that you can do is, is to create a new application, give it a new identifier. So you, you can't even reuse the same name. Use, create a new key store, create a new certificate, and then upload the new application. Of course, that means your users, they, they may not notice that there's a new version. You're gonna lose all of your, uh, your ratings. So that's a bad thing to happen. Google noticed that this is a problem and they introduced something that they call Google Play app signing. And if you go here to release management and you look at this section where it says app signing, you'll find that here I already have a bunch of options. It allows me to yeah, migrate the old way of manually managing my key store to the new way of handling it. It gives me instructions in case I have already exported something or I haven't exported, it tells me to download a tool and I can do that, blah, 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 or I don't have anything yet. 
So this is if you want to go through the migration process, which I would have to do here for my existing app. In order to keep this a bit shorter here, I want to focus on the um, on, on the variation that is, I think, more common. That is, you are creating a new app from scratch. And the question is, do you want to participate in this Google Play signing process or not? So I want to have a look at that. In the other case, you would have to go through these migration steps. So here I have created a new app. It's all empty. Nothing has been uploaded yet. That's the super cool Xamarin Android app. I have already prepared the store listing. And the triangle here says that I need to upload something, right? So let's do that. We go in here, we go to our app releases, production track, we want to manage that and create a new production release. We don't go through alpha and beta, right? Our app is already perfect. So let's create a release here. And it will take us to this screen. And notice how here it says app signing by Google Play. This is where it really, it kind of, it urges us saying, hey, you want to participate in that. It's, it's just benefits for you. And this frees us from managing our key store manually. Even if we lose our key store, we can recover. Now you can opt out of that, but of course we want to continue and opt in. If you want to learn more about that, you would have to check out this file here where it says manage your app signing keys. And from there you find further instructions that lead you to this in the, the Android developer documentation where you say use Google Play app signing. It explains what all of this is about. So you can read through this and I'm gonna demo it to you now. So let's continue and say uh, we wanna participate in app signing and it's enabled. Right, so now I have to upload my first version of this super cool app. I quickly gonna build this and then come back here to the browser and we can upload it. I would have to go in here right click here we archive that and magically it's already done could also be that I edited out a bit of the recording well what I'm gonna do with this here is I'm gonna distribute that here we go so we have two options of distributing I mentioned that briefly before you could either go ad hoc which means you're gonna save the APK to disk and then upload it like we just did with the update or you handle it through this Google Play button where you have to do some setup and then Visual Studio can directly upload. Doesn't really matter. This is a more involved process, a one-time process of setting everything up. So not part of this lightning lecture, so I skipped that. You find great documentation over at docs.microsoft.com. So we go with ad hoc here. And the next step here in this wizard is to create a key store. Now you see I already have one here. I created that. If you don't have one, you need one for every app that you're building. You would click the plus button and it's asking for all of these credentials. And then I'm gonna save the key stored to disk. You can find that. If I double click here, you see the path where it's stored and I can view it in Explorer. If I go there, here is my key store file. Now let's cancel in here. We have a key store and then we're gonna click save as. So it's just gonna save our APK to disk. Save it to desktop, save it here. You don't want to replace that. It needs the password. So this is the password that we provided when creating that key store, just in case you wonder. I submit that and we're done. And it has saved it. We could now click open folder and it would take us to the, to the desktop. And instead we go back here to the browser, to our App release management, browse for files. And we're looking for this one here. And if we are now waiting, we see the APK has been uploaded. And if you then switch over here to app signing, if you go there first time after opting in to the Play Store signing, you will see this section here, the app signing certificate section. And if you have a look at the documentation, which we find over here, you find that this is what Google is using to sign your app. So your app will be signed with that app signing key when it's going to the user's devices. Now, since this is now part of the Play Store, there's little chance that it's getting lost, right? Hopefully Google is taking care of it. 
The other thing that we find in here is an upload certificate. This upload certificate section will only become visible if you upload the very first APK. And the information that we find in here, this is information that is extracted from the key store that we created. Uh, we can verify that. So let's go back to Visual Studio here and just go to distribute, select ad hoc, select that key store, double click it. Let's go to view and explorer. Here it is. I'm going to open a PowerShell window in here. And we can use the Android key tool. So you're going to use this to list everything in the key store. We want verbose output. And we're looking at the key store file called, uh, what is it called? Super cool app distro dot key store. If I do this, it's asking for the password. Hit return. Now I try to put these here side by side. So we can verify my claim here. And maybe we just look at this one here that says MD5. Notice how MD5 is starting with uh, Bravo 532. And if we go over here, MD5 Bravo 532. Uh, just another one, the SHA-1, it ends with uh, 99 Foxtrot 9. And we have, of course, the same thing over here. So these are indeed the same fingerprints. They got extracted from what we uploaded. If you are not starting from scratch, and I mentioned this before, then you have to migrate. And this is where it gives you an option to extract this information and uh, you have to re-encrypt it and protect it. That is where you have to download another tool. So that's why I skipped it here. But end of the day, you will have the same uh, result here. You will have this section with the app signing certificate and your upload certificate. So what's the big deal with this now? Well, let's go through it once again. If you want to publish an application, you got to sign it. And I want to bring up a little slide here, which is a slide that you hopefully know. We start with some APK and we sign our APK. We do this locally and we are using that key store file that we have generated locally. That's this key store file that I just showed you where we extracted the SHA-1 and everything, right? So we use this to sign our app and then the signed application, it will go to the Play Store. Now the change is that we still sign our build, but once it has been uploaded, Google will use the signature, the identifier that is now stored inside the Play Store. And that's what we see here. If I go back, I see this is what our app will be signed with, which means if for some reason you lose that key store, you would be unable to update your app because the certificate changes. Well, no longer. If you lose that key store, you will be able to create a new one, upload your update, and it will still be signed using this certificate that Google is well maintaining for you. So that means you can update, you don't lose your ratings. That's the new thing. Now, this makes it sounds a bit like you could just go ahead and delete your key store file, right? Um, that's not quite true. So what happens if you delete your key store file or if you lose it by accident, which is probably more likely, you will be losing your upload certificate. So that is part of that key store file. We just saw that, that what we have here as SHA-1, this is part of this key store. Well, if the key store is gone, it looks a bit like you would just go ahead, click download certificate in here, which you can actually do. And you see you're getting this upload cert.der file. And then you just generate a new key store and you would somehow magically import that certificate into the key store and you're all set. Wishful thinking. That's unfortunately not how it is working. You can't do that. So I did a bit of research if there was a way around that, but it simply doesn't seem to be possible. So what is the option then? Well, if you look at this page here, actually not this one, that one, which is our manage your app signing keys help tutorial help page and you scroll all the way to the bottom you find a section that's called create a new upload key and here they explain what to do in case you 
well, you, you lost your private key or it has been compromised or whatever the reason may be. Here's what they tell you. You create a new private key and upload certificate. And you see that already here, you create a new upload certificate. And then number two, you contact the Google support team. And there's even a form in here. That's what I just had on screen. If you click in here, they ask for details and you explain to them what happened. Now you gotta tell them, hey, I just lost my key store file. I'm unable to update my application. I'm very sorry. Would you please give me a chance to change my upload, upload certificate? And then they will do the thing that you cannot do manually. You don't see any delete buttons in here or revoke buttons for that certificate. Only Google can do that. They're gonna revoke this upload certificate for you and then you generate a new one and you have a chance to start over with a new key store. But again, signing the app will still be done with this certificate that is still there. So although you have a new key store, the app is still gonna be signed with the same certificate, which means um, you can update existing applications. That's Google app signing, Google Play app signing, which helps of course and makes it a bit easier and less scary to lose your key store file. That's it from my side. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found that interesting and maybe see you soon at Xamarin University. Bye.